Hey everyone, Chris here, and this is Mist Survival. Apparently it got a pretty big update a little while ago, so I thought I'd check it out. Oh, right away found like a upgrade thing. But yeah, it's, you know, it's a survival game with the main emphasis being this like mist that suddenly appeared. And from my understanding, it turns people into like sort of zombie vampire type things. I haven't played too much. I played maybe like about an hour just to kind of get a rough idea of what to do in the game. It's a lot of like obviously resource management but also time management is a huge thing in this because whenever you try to build something it takes time. And you're kind of always up against the clock because those creatures come out at night or during mist events. So let's take a look at our map because I think we start off somewhere around here. And the map is really interesting too, because you're supposed to get pencils, and that kind of marks where you are, but only temporarily. So it's kind of like these quick check-ins. I'm hearing a wolf, so probably get away from that. Let me equip the axe as like some basic defense. And I guess we'll head up this hill. I think there's like some buildings or something right around here. So yeah, let's check out this building over here. Because eventually we do have to make something into like our sort of base. Because there are bandits and then whenever that mist rolls in, we definitely want to like take cover, especially early on. Because there's no way I could really fight those things. At least not without like a gun or some type of ranged weapon. Yeah, this game goes pretty in depth. Like these cars, you could fix them if you find all the parts. There's even like a whole base building aspect to it. Because you got all these types of like shelters, but as you can see, they require a lot of materials and a lot of time. And I'm guessing you don't want to be just like outside in the open building stuff because then you might be like attacked or something else goes on, you know? Oh, nice. Just what I was looking for some pencils. Because now. I think there's supposed to be events too, so you hear something like explode or crash, you can mark it on your map. Oh, nice. Oh, shotgun. Sweet. Okay. It's the first time I found like a gun. Any ammo? Nope. I think that's ammo for it. Let's see. Yeah, sweet. Nine mil. Oh. Yeah, see, there's like a watch crash or something, and I think I'm supposed to click event. So that's down by the lake, and we're over here. Okay. So yeah, let's head down the road and check out what's over there. Oh, it's a car crash. Let's see. What's going on here? Oh, whoa. There's someone inside. We... Oh, we could help him. Takes three minutes. Sure, why not? Thank you for saving me. Oh, I click up here. Okay, sure. This is a small thing I can give in return. Thanks, man. I don't know what that is. What did he give me? I have no idea. But apparently we could trade with him. That's kind of cool. So we could get gloves, medicine, or... I don't know. What is that? Like a fish? I don't want those gloves. Can I trade something for that? I'll give you a stick. Nope. I want something more valuable. Oh, there's a whole, like, value bar. Interesting. I mean, I guess I'll give him what he gave me. Because I don't think I have... Well, let me see what that, what that is first. Because maybe I could just come back to him and trade? Okay, never mind. I thought he was just going to like stick around here. Mounting part. Oh, so we could customize vehicles. Interesting. So maybe that goes on the back and we could put like a bike or something. I don't know. Okay, well, to be honest, that wasn't that helpful then. I think what looks like a junkyard down there. Maybe we'll check that out. Because probably around midday, I already want to have like a shelter figured out. Because we do have to do a lot of prepping. Because I don't have anything to drink. And our thirst is going to go by really quick. And then we just, you know, you know, got to set up everything like a bed, all that stuff. Because for the water, we're going to need a water purifier. But then to build that, I think we need like a workbench. So it's just like one thing that leads into another and another. All right, let's check around here. I really should have traded that part for those gloves. Could have given this like a little bit of protection. 
Find a lot of components here, so that's good. Yeah, I'm ready full. Guess I'll get rid of that branch for right now. And I'll pick up this scrap metal. It's probably the first thing we're gonna wanna build is the workbench. And we just need a lot of wood and metal scraps for that. I think I hear something in there. Yeah, there's definitely some growling in there. But yeah, he's right there. I don't know if they can open doors. Let's go around the back and see. Oh, it's just a big open door. Okay. There's like one, two, three. Oh crap, there's a lot of them actually. Oh crap, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that was closer than I would like. I don't know if that gunshot's gonna attract more of them or something. But might as well take him out. What does he have? Salt, an empty bottle, and I think there's just one more. Alright, well I guess I gotta shoot him. Nice. And he's burning up too. I think that was all of them. Ooh, antibiotics. Okay, that's really good. Let's see what's in here. Scrap metal. Even more. Ooh, a crowbar. That seems pretty useful. I think you could break, yeah. Yeah, it could open locks. Closets, maybe, it means? And lock doors. It says something about, like, it makes a loud noise, so... It does seem like there's some sort of, like, noise mechanic. Ooh, great, more ammo. I was about to say, a large challenge in this game is just, like, inventory space. I was gonna say, like, if they could make a backpack, that'd be super great, but look what we got right here. Sweet, so we got two more slots. Okay, that's really, really good. Okay, so I kind of thought you could, like, build a backpack, but it seems like we just have to find upgrades in the wild or something. Okay, let me just check out whatever's left in this junkyard, and then I guess maybe we'll head back to that, like, cabin or something. I don't know if we should make that into our base or not, because I'm guessing we're right here. That's what it seems like. Okay, so I pretty much cleared out the junkyard. I'm just checking out these cars around the area. Ooh, a stew. And more antibiotics, so... I'm guessing the stews can be better than, like, this canned food. Yeah, it says great meal, so yeah, I'll take that. I'm seeing a little thing over here. I'm not sure if that's, um... This hunting area? That's what I'm guessing it is? There's a fire. Does that mean this was occupied by someone recently? I'm not seeing anyone. So, I guess we're in the clear for right now. Let me drink one of these sodas. There's so many good items, but I just don't have the space for it. I guess I'll get rid of that sewing kit and take the canned fruit. Okay, let's double check where we are. Oh, so I'm not at the hunting area yet. Okay. So eventually, I do want somewhere close to the water. And this kind of seems like a good middle ground. Because there's a river right there. I could easily access this community area, this town, and the sawmill. So it's like, I feel like it's a good middle ground. So let's head there. And maybe we'll set that up as our base. Oh, a bear, okay. And cubs. Did it just die? I think it just took a nap. Never mind. I saw it like flop on the floor. thought it was dead. Oh, oh okay. Scared the crowd out of me. But it does seem like, yeah, they do definitely burn as they come outside. But I guess not enough to kill him. Oh, that was a bad shot. Hopefully that didn't attract too much attention. There's another one. Military component box. Interesting. More antibiotics. I'll definitely take that. And I think this place is clear. What's this? Okay, so got some ammo. I think there's more ammo next to it. Yep, nice. And then I think we could use a crowbar. 
So let's try that. Okay, so ammo and a bandage. I'll take the bandage for right now. And that didn't really use any of the durability, so that's not too bad. Another shotgun. Nice, but I don't have room for that. I was kind of hoping to make this into my base, actually. It doesn't seem like it's claimable. There's not even like a door, too, so that's a little bad. Yeah, so we might actually have to cross up maybe to this building over here. And maybe we can make that to one of our bases. So yeah, let's head over there. Because I definitely want to start finding somewhere to like sort of settle down and start making stuff. Oh no, it's turning foggy. Or the mist event's coming. Okay, let me get to that watchtower and hold up for a bit. Because I do not want to be out here when there's all these creatures. Hopefully it's not already occupied. Okay, there's no one in here. Perfect. So from my understanding, I think the best thing you could do during the mist event is just kind of like hold out somewhere. You know, you're just taking shelter. Let me check what this is really quick. Explosive arrow. That sounds awesome. Yeah, I think these events can take quite a while. I think what we'll do is just rest on this bed for an hour and kind of go from there. Yeah, that's really great for fatigue and everything. Let's see where this is on the map. So that's this tower over here. I mean, to be honest, I'm kind of cool with this being our our base too. Gives us a good like watch over everything. Someone down there. I don't know if they could get all the way up here. Hopefully not. But I feel like it's a really good vantage point, you know? Got all these like windows to look around, shoot down if we need to. So yeah, I think we might claim this as our base. Let's let's do that right now. Hopefully we're not making too much noise. Yeah, let's make this our base. Why not? And I guess we'll just take a nap for like another hour. Because I do not want to be wandering around with those guys down there. Alright, cool. So the vent's over and we should be in the clear. Oh, that's cool. I already had some stuff in the locker. So we could use that as storage as well. Jeans? Okay, so I think we could equip that. Let's see, where's the pants? Legs, okay. So that should give us at least a little bit of protection. Because then if I got those gloves from that guy, that'd be something here. Let's store some of this stuff, and I think what I want to do is craft that workbench. So I have the components and the metal scraps, I just need wood. So let me go down there and chop down a tree or two. Also, I didn't really actually look around this area. I just kind of ran up there to get shelter. Oh, that's really good. A canister. So I, ca I think I can fill that up with water if I need to. And let's see what these guys have on them. Oh, that's really good. Electronic part, gunpowder, and a potato. Maybe that's used for like planning or something later on. Right, let me chop down some trees and hopefully we get that workbench going. Alright, and I think I have to convert the logs to wood, yeah. And it takes 45 minutes for each one. So for 16, that's going to take 3 hours. So it's going to push us a little bit late, but it shouldn't be too bad, I hope. Oh, looks like it's starting to rain. Yeah, it's a little dark, but it's not too bad. And I think we should have everything for the workbench. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, do I have room for it, though? Mm, barely. Maybe, like, right over here. I think they'll fit right there. And, of course, that's going to take an hour to build, so... Oh, what am I missing? Oh, okay. There we go. Alright, cool. And what that did is unlock a lot more recipes and tools. Because then I think the next thing we want to build is a bucket. So we can get, um... Let me see where it is. The water purifier going. Yeah, so we need a bucket, metal scraps, stones, and firewood. I think we have a lot of firewood, so I think we just need metal scraps and stones. It's getting a little bit late, though. Yeah, even though it's getting a little late, I think I'll still look around. Let me see if I can at least get the stones for it. Because I'm seeing a lot of firewood everywhere. Yeah, there's like stacks over here and in there, so we should be good on that. Just need stones and scrap metal. Because I do not want to be traveling out too late. It gets really, really dark in the game. I know there's a torch, but it's pretty complicated. 
because like not only do you have to make the torch but then you have to get like matches to light the torch and it's just like one thing after another we're also towards this other watchtower so let's check this out maybe there's some metal scraps around here one metal scrap car battery okay cool another one and let's check up there doesn't seem like anyone's home so it'd be good to go in another shotgun and a gear so i'll take that because i think that's used for like upgrading the actual workbench all good stuff but not exactly what i'm looking for okay so i think i have to crack this open okay just five minutes that's not too bad oh nice a shirt okay and a fishing rod I think there actually is fishing in this game, so that's kind of cool. Let me equip that shirt. Just give us a little bit more protection. I mean, it says it's like very bad protection, but I'm sure it's better than just being naked. Alright, it's getting pretty dark, so let's head back to our cabin and sleep off the night. Okay, so what I think I'll do is get my stats back up and then go to sleep because your stuff definitely like drains throughout the night. So let's eat this can of fruit and maybe I'll have to drink that soda after. Yeah, I'll also have the soda too. Okay, stats are looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and go to sleep. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I think I'll head over to that little like area there. Check out that watchtower and that like cabin thing over there hopefully we'll find enough scrap metal and stones to get the workbench or water purifier going do I want to take down this bear I think I will a little close to my area can't tell if I hit it or if it's running up the hill right now what the heck where'd it go uh oh It, like, disappeared. What the heck? Is that it over there? What? I, I have no idea what happened right now. Oh, or what? Or is it here? Is it dead? No, okay, that's definitely breathing. What the heck? Let's go for a close headshot. Okay, that definitely wasn't enough. Okay, that was dumb. That was dumb. Oh, that was really, really bad. Okay, I think I'm gonna die here. Oh, well, that was... yeah. Oh, that was so bad. So, I'm gonna lose some items and my place might be robbed. Great. Oh, no. Okay. Lost the crowbar and the axe. Okay, that was really dumb of me. And I thought I could just get, like, a, a quick headshot and be done with it. Dang, okay. Well, I still have one axe, but those bandages would have been really helpful. Also, my game seems a little bugged out. I can't look up or down. Kind of just stuck side to side for whatever reason. Uh, let me exit the game and come back. Okay, that fixed it. That was kind of a weird bug. I will get you one day. Maybe I'll have to use explosive arrow on it. Hey, yeah, but now we know. Can't win a fight against a bear. Okay, got some chickens over here. I think there is a chicken coop thing that we could build, so might be useful later on. Grab that stone, and hopefully there's metal scraps around here. Okay, one metal scrap. I forget how much I need. Okay, so I have enough for the purifier, but I don't know how much the bucket was. I'm gonna guess like four or five, maybe. No one's in here. Oh, what the heck? This one already has a workbench. Oh, nice. Gloves. Winter gloves. Okay. I'm guessing that's going to keep us a bit warmer. You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of liking this one a lot better. It's a lot more open. And we got this cabinet with, like, tons of storage. I think we might just move here. Plus, it's a little bit closer to the, like, town I want to check out. So, yeah, let's make this our base. Yeah, because it already has a bed, tons of storage, and a workbench, so... 
I mean, while we're here, let's see if we can make that bucket. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Sweet. And I think we can make the purifier. Oh, no. We still need stone and firewood. We just need one more stone. All right. Cool. I don't know if I should make this down here. Or if I should keep kind of like everything up there. I, think I might do that. I feel like we're going to be building a lot of stuff, but I mean, we have all this empty space, so it should be fine. And we could always move it around later if we need to. Yeah, it looks good. Nice. Could take 45 minutes. My guy's getting a little hungry, but not too bad. Oh, so we need tree bark and matches. I don't think I have any matches. All right, well, let's check out that cabin over there. What we might have to do is just go back and grab all our stuff. Kind of move it over here. Let's see if anyone's home. Yep, I'm definitely hearing some growling in there. Hey there, how's it going? I kind of wonder, I want to see if they can... Oh, there's two of them, okay. Get away from me. And I think we're good. More firewood. Yes, I'll Ooh, raincoat. Okay. Where do I put that? Nice. Reduces wetness by 45%. Fortunately, no matches. Kind of hoping to find that right away. Okay, let me drop off my stuff, and I'll go to the other watchtower and bring all that stuff back over here. Okay, so I moved everything over. It wasn't really actually that much. It's got all these cabinets full of stuff now. And I guess we gotta make our own matches, so we need a branch and some charcoal. But I think to get the charcoal, we need to have a little campfire. And I think we have one over here. I brought over our cooking pot, because I didn't know we had one, but... Yeah, we have campfire right here. We need tinder and fuel. And I think all the tinder is, is like, the tree bark. So I think we just gotta chop down a tree. And we could put like the logs and the bark there. So let's see. Okay, yeah, that's tinder. And do we just put a whole log? No, it doesn't seem like it. I'm guessing firewood. And what's accelerant? Hmm, interesting. Oh, maybe like lighter fu fluid? Yeah, okay. Okay, so that helps a lot. Because it raises the rate to 100%. Then I think without it, it was like 60. Yeah. So yeah, let's just go for the 100% and see what happens. Okay, so that's going to burn for an hour and 30 minutes. I'm not sure how we get the charcoal. Yeah, I think we just got to let that burn for a bit. And maybe we'll get some charcoal down here after a while. Let me see. Because apparently I can make firewood too. So let's just make a ton of that. And we'll probably just throw that in the fire. And hopefully that converts into firewood. I mean charcoal. Oh yeah, so you've already got some right there. Nice. So let's just load this up. And I think I just needed a stick. Or a branch, sorry. Let me head up here, because I think that did say it was going to take like two hours or something. It's going to take a long time. And I'd feel a little bit safer doing it up here. Where was it? Yeah, okay, yeah, two and a half hours. Yeah, this definitely takes a while. I think that's everything, right? Oh, I need water, of course. I think I had that container... Where was it? Yeah. I think with that, I could go fill it up at the river really quick. It does seem like the mist might be setting in, though. So let me try to make this really quick. Let me fill the bottle, right? Was that V? Yep. And yeah, let's definitely head back up there. Okay, so I think we just place this here. And we have to select to give it all the liquid. So that's filling up. And... To, oh, I need tree bark. Dang, okay. And I think I used it all on the... I think I used all the tree bark on that campfire. Okay, well, let me wait out this mist event. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. It took about two hours. Oh, whoa, one of them got pretty close, actually. Okay, let me chop down another tree and get some tree bark. And hopefully we can get the water purifier going. And I think that should do it, yeah. So 
So I think we just hit distill. Yep. Yeah, everything in this game just takes a long time. So I'm assuming that's going to take a couple hours. Not sure if we should just like... Oh yeah, we could just fill this up as it goes. Okay. I just wasn't sure if I could drink from it. Okay, nice. Cool. So I think that pretty much solves our water problem. So we shouldn't have to worry too much about that. And then I guess our next thing would be to get like food going. I don't know if we should go for fishing or maybe there's some um, agriculture. Yeah, but I need five kilograms of manure. So I'm not quite sure where I'd get that. I think that's a good place to end it for now. Maybe next time we'll go check out that town and see what we could do about our food situation. So we're doing okay for right now, but again, we want something kind of like sustainable or replenishable. And yeah, maybe we could find some survivors to recruit to our camp or something. We'll check that out next time. So see ya. Thanks for watching. Bye.